Chapter 296, A Fierce Start In the end, Zhu Tui chose to head to Dongan Ridge to help Gong Ling complete this mission. The reason why he did not choose the Kinling Mountains in the inner land of the Huaxia sector was very simple. Compared to the Kinling Mountains, Dongan Ridge was larger and had a more complete ecosystem of mutated plants and animals. They would gain more there. In the collection catalog that Jun Ziking and A Huang had compiled, there were more types of mutated plants and animals in Dongan Ridge. They were more valuable. Zhu Tui did not just want to complete the mission for Gong Ling. Since he was going out on a clearing mission, he had to collect more mutated animals and plants. After he returned, he would directly accept the mission and hand it in to complete the mission. This might be a little difficult for others, but it was not difficult for Zutui, who had the support of logistics and intelligence. If they set off from the capital in the morning, they would only need four hours to reach the outer area of Dongan Ridge. However, the journey took an hour longer than expected. It was not as if there had been an accident. Instead, it was because Zutui had been constantly observing the mountains along the way. Every time he passed by a mountain range of varying sizes, Zhu Tui would look down at the mountains for a while after he confirmed that it was safe. He would even jump off the flying car and walk in the mountains for a while. Recently, Zhu Tui had studied more than half of the ancient books about mountains that Beyond Yuan had given him. Although he still did not sense the original quantum frequency of the mountain, his understanding and concept of the mountain were completely different. Even mountains had their own characteristics. For example, Mountain Yan. It looks majestic on the first look. Upon closer inspection, the mountain was as graceful as a woman walking in the rain. The mountain stream was like a dragon coiling around a river. At this moment, Zutui was looking down at the mountain. His footsteps were measured, and he seemed to have gained something. At 3 o'clock in the afternoon, the group drove straight into the depths of Dongan Ridge, they stopped the repulsive force flying car in the air at a small basin that was not too steep. Zhu Tui, Cheng Mo, Gong Ling, and Zhuo Qingqing jumped off the flying car at the same time. Zhuo Qingqing was on alert. Zhu Tui and Cheng Mo, on the other hand, waved their mountain splitting knives and shovels. They intended to quickly clear out an area so that the repulsive force flying car could land. As soon as they landed on the ground, there were a few gray grass branches on the ground. They were like poisonous snakes that suddenly wrapped around Zhu Tun and Cheng Mo's ankles. Gong Ling suddenly shouted softly. A faint plant-like aura surged out from her body. The gray grass immediately stood up and waved its branches at Gong Ling. It looked like they were drooling over Gong Ling. Gong Ling did not move. Zhu Tun and Cheng Mo raised their mountain knives and quickly cut off the gray grass. This gray snake grass seems to have become a spirit. Although I've read books before, this is the first time I've seen it. I still feel that this thing is more like an animal than a plant. Cheng Mo waved the shovel quickly. Otherwise, why would it be called a mutated moving plant? Unfortunately, this gray snake grass is not worth much, Su Tui said. Little Tui, if it's so easy to pick up valuable mutated moving plants, then we genetic humans will all be rich, Gong Ling said sweetly. That's true. The four of them worked together and quickly cleared out an area where they could park the repulsive force flying car and the camp area. The current repulsive force flying cars flew faster than the helicopters in the past. The conditions for taking off and landing were also lower. They were not picky about the terrain. However, there had to be a flat area. In the next three days, we will use our current location as a base to explore the area. Within a hundred kilometers to the northeast and search for mission targets. If we don't find anything within three days, we'll go deeper, Zutui said. In addition, since it's a team clearing mission, there must be a captain to command. Under normal circumstances, the team members must obey the captain's orders unconditionally. For now, I felt that it was better for me to be the captain. If you have any objections, you can bring it up now for us to discuss the solution, Zutui said. I have no objections. Cheng Mo grinned toothily. He was the first to answer. I have no objections, Gong Ling immediately replied. Then, she looked at Zuo Qingqing. No objections, Zuo Qingqing replied. All right, we're all classmates, and we have a good relationship, so I'll say the ugly words first. It is a life and death mission in the wilderness. You must listen to my orders when you take action. You can't act on your own. 
If anyone acts on their own and harms everyone, don't blame me for scolding them. Zutun had made a prior agreement. After all, they were here for a mission that could endanger their lives, not for a vacation. Our goal this afternoon is to explore the 20-kilometer area directly in front of us. Well set off after resting for 10 minutes. Cheng Mo and I will lead the team. Zuo Kinking, you and Gong Ling will follow behind. Zhu Tuis' way of doing things was also a standard way of doing field clearing missions. As long as there was nothing wrong with their brains, they would not have any objections. When they set off to explore, everyone had a large backpack. Cheng Mo's backpack was the largest. It was a 90-liter multi-purpose travel bag with a repulsive force flying skateboard. Of course, it was rented. Furthermore, he was flying without a license. Special flight licenses were mainly required for city flights and high-speed flights. He did not need a driver's license to use a repulsive force flying skateboard in this open area. Similarly, Gong Ling had also rented a miniature repulsive force flying skateboard. Zuo Kinking's was probably not rented. To be honest, Zhu Tui was a little curious about Zuo Kinking. There was very little information about Zuo Kinking's family online. However, not only did Zuo Kinking have a repulsive force flying car, but she had also obtained a special flying license long ago. Clearly, her family background was not ordinary. She's not like Tong Ki, a rich second-generation heir from Jincheng Prefecture who was still working hard for his special flying license. Moreover, Zuo Kinking had actually joined the myths a long time ago and even guided Gong Ling to join. Zuo Kinking was definitely not simple. The two girls were carrying 40 liters of multi-purpose travel backpacks. Zhu Tui was carrying a 70-liter multi-purpose backpack. The repulsive force-flying skateboard was mainly used to cross some mountain obstacles or for traveling. They still had to rely on their feet to explore. Otherwise, how could they discover those mutated animals and plants? To be honest, this was Zhu Tui's first time in the wild. For the past 18 years, Zhu Tui had only lived in Jincheng Prefecture. A mountain? He could see those mountains from afar. Even for those mountains in the cities, he had only reached the foot of the mountain. He could not enter the mountain as entering the mountains was very dangerous. At this moment, Dongan Ridge was even more primitive. Some places were waist-deep grass. It was extremely dangerous. There might be hidden dangers such as the venomous snakes that they could not see. The long-handled machete in Chang Mo's hand was used to open up a path and clear out any possible dangers. The benefits of mental perception were suddenly magnified. Zhu Tui did not need to amplify his mental perception to the maximum. He only needed to maintain his precise mental perception at a distance of 10 meters. He would be able to eliminate a large amount of danger if he released his blurry mental perception to a range of 30 meters. Moreover, the consumption of mind power was not high. Zhu Tui had shielded his teammates from danger five times in less than half an hour. Three poisonous snakes and poisonous insects, one swamp, and one mutated poisonous grass attack. Zhu Tui could sense the danger within a 30-meter radius with his mental perception. It made this exploration very easy. Zhu Tui suddenly realized that this might be the reason why Gong Ling wanted his help. With his mental perception clearing the way, the difficulty was greatly reduced. As he continued to advance, Cheng Mo's wilderness abilities were also rapidly improving. Zhu Tui's expression suddenly changed as he walked in. Everyone, back to back, prepare your flamethrowers. Zhu Tun and Cheng Mo reacted the fastest. Zuo Kinking and Gong Ling hurriedly took out handheld flamethrowers from their backpacks. Almost as soon as the four of them stood back to back, a group of black fog rushed towards them. The expressions of the four of them became extremely solemn. Black mist flying ants. It was a relatively dangerous group of migrating insects in the wild. When there were less than 500,000 of them, the danger level was limited. It would be very troublesome if there were more than 500,000 black mist flying ants. If something went wrong, they would suffer greatly. Put down your combat uniforms and masks. Everyone is responsible for a fan-shaped area. Even if a few black fog flying ants are on you, don't be afraid. A few dozen of them will not cause you any harm. Just continue to shoot out flames, Su Tui instructed calmly. The four flamethrowers spewed out high-temperature flames. All the black fog flying ants that approached were instantly reduced to ashes. 
About 30 seconds later, most of the black fog flying ants that surrounded them dissipated. A small portion of them scattered, and a layer of black dust had already landed in front of the four of them. They had successfully overcome the danger. Zutui heaved a sigh of relief, but Cheng Mo waved his fist excitedly. Gong Ling and Zuo Kinking were panting heavily. They were clearly frightened. Check the remaining fuel in the flamethrower. If it's less than 50%, replenish it immediately, Zutui ordered. Plenty of fuel, plenty of fuel, plenty of fuel. The three of them answered in an experienced manner. The small accidents in the wilderness made Zutui and the others continuously improve. Walk this way. While they were exploring, Zutui suddenly changed his mind. Zutui was the captain, so the others would not have any objections. However, after walking for about 10 kilometers, he activated the silver pill in the grass under a large tree and severely injured the two green patterned snakes hiding in the grass. Cheng Mo, put on protective gloves and retrieve the snake venom from me. Gong Ling, kinking, dig three meters ahead of you. There's a snake nest there. Be careful, there might be snake eggs, Zutui ordered. A green pattern snake's egg? Zuo Kinking was shocked. I remember that in a clearing mission, the Genetic Research Institute seemed to be buying the eggs of the green pattern snake at a high price. It seems like a high price of 100,000 yuans per egg. The price in the black market is even higher. However, the most valuable thing is still the snake venom of the green pattern snake. This is one of the raw materials used to prepare the relevant regulatory pathways for many genetic transcriptional fluids. One gram of snake venom can be sold for 200,000. Zhu Tui said. At the side, Cheng Mo, who had just put on his tactical anti-stabbing gloves and was carefully pinching the 7-inch green patterned snake, was stunned. 200,000 for a gram of snake venom. Darn it! Wasn't he rich the moment he arrived? Wasn't this start and harvest to ferocious? It shouldn't be a problem to extract 3 grams of venom from 2 green patterned snakes, right? Zuo Kinking glanced at Zutun in surprise. Then, she turned around and started digging the snake hole carefully with Gong Ling. Zutui took out a specially made vial from his backpack and began to clumsily extract the venom from the green patterned snake with Cheng Mo. He had read up on this knowledge before he set off. However, he was in a flurry when he actually did it. When he really watched the video, he knew how to do it at first glance, but he did not know how to do it. Although they were flustered, they still managed to successfully extract the venom after some time. Gong Ling and Zuo Kinking also successfully dug into the snake cave and dug out five snake eggs with green patterns. This harvest made everyone overjoyed. However, no one noticed that when they were retrieving the snake venom, the two small insects that could not be any more real flew forward and searched again. How is it? I'm powerful in the wild, right? A Huang's smug voice sounded in Zhu Tui's ears. Zhu Tui nodded silently. In the wilderness, A Huang, who could control many bionic mechanical insects, was the undisputed king when it came to searching for information. 